Well, it turns out that the worst has happened. It all started with some tweets of some very toxic One Piece fans threatening to leak the final episode of Attack on Titan in hopes that it gets delayed. Now, the leaks just two days out from its premiere are flooding and surging into the internet, one screenshot and video at a time, down to the titles of the episodes even. So let's discuss these leaks, what they mean for Attack on Titan, and what you can do to avoid them. If you love Attack on Titan, Jujutsu Kaisen, Invincible, or Chainsaw Man, then hey, this channel is your one stop shop for everything anime content. Subscribe and drop a like, help spread the word or else I'll pod drive you into the ground. You have been warned, mongrels. So on Twitter and Reddit, people are sharing screenshots of Attack on Titan's final episode, in particular, the final moments of the episode. The reason this is being done is primarily to spread information about the episode to harm its release and paint a narrative. And if you've read the manga, you'll know what kind of screenshots they are sharing in order to do this. But otherwise, it seems the sources are just slowly trickling out these screenshots in the hopes they'll probably do some sort of damage. Recently, as an example, there were just rumors of One Piece fans seeking to actually post the entire episode on their Twitter account in hopes they would be able to, quote, delay the final episode. You can see this in the tweet here, quote, My brother and I have formed a group and we will collect all of the leaks from the Attack on Titan episode and publish them under the official accounts of Attack on Titan and under the accounts of the animators so that they can cancel the episode and not challenge One Piece. The workers are stressed and we are putting more pressure on them. Now, do I think this is where these leaks are coming from? No, I do not. In fact, they are coming from even Attack on Titan content creators, which is ridiculous. However, many fans were quick to point out that the logic in this post is entirely flawed, based on the fact that even if they did post the entire episode to their Twitter, that it would not get the episode canceled or postponed. The episode is done. It makes no sense to postpone a finished product and then on top of that, postpone it after it was leaked, which is exactly what is happening now and there are no delays. Also, it's quite disgusting in my opinion to go out and try to put even more pressure on animators when it's not the animators or staff who deserve any hate or stress from any of this. I feel like a lot of people on Twitter and Reddit who literally do not know anything better think that the animators are making a lot of decisions and out to get the fan base at MAPPA when in reality they are the grunts more than anything just following orders. What people don't realize is that it's the freaking CEOs and corpse who are trying to run MAPPA into the ground of mismanagement and mistreatment of staff, severely misunderstanding how anime production even works. It's even gotten so bad that MAPPA animators are receiving death threats and having mental breakdowns, as an example from one of the more recent JJK episodes. And now keep in mind, they're not having these mental breakdowns be just because of what is going on at their work, but from the hate they're getting on social media. I mean, think about it. You think that with all of the hard work they put in, that while they get no respect from their bosses, they would at least get some from the fans because, you know, they're fans themselves. But that's not the case here, and it's a lot of really dumb people running off misinformation and anger-inducing algorithms that are making their lives a living hell for no reason at all. It's as I said, disgusting and disrespectful. To make matters worse, you can tell these people feel threatened because they want One Piece to be this, you know, this biggest and bestest anime that nobody else can ever talk about, let alone they don't even realize that this is probably one of the biggest properties in all of Japan in media ever. I mean, Eiichiro Oda is one of the top selling authors in the history of authors. To me, it's dumb, and it's tribalism, and it's stupid, and I cover One Piece on this channel all of the time. I have a Patreon page that's dedicated to One Piece where I upload content early there. By the way, this is not a plug, let me cook. I will say this, I know from experience that when it comes to this quote, rivalry between One Piece and Attack on Titan, it doesn't exist in the slightest. It's not real. It's maybe at best 10 to 15 people with alts, trying to create division for the sake of clicks and attention. If you're an AOT fan, trust me, as a person who covers both of these series, One Piece fans are sweet little angels just as much as you guys are. So much so that they welcomed me into their community with open arms. Trust me on this. I love the One Piece fandom. This tweet is nothing more than fake fans who think starting tribalism and division amongst people is the right way to handle another show being more popular than theirs for like, what, a day? It's strange. Do I think this is where the leaks are coming from though? Once again, no, I, I think it's quite simple just from 
It's coming from multiple sources, not just from this one group of people. As for how you can save yourself from these leaks, especially on Twitter, all you need to do is go into your settings, change the muted words to whatever you'd like. This will stop that content with those keywords showing up, so I'll leave a link below in the pinned comment that will show you a short tutorial on how to do it so that you can protect yourself from these leaks. Believe me, you guys do not want to be spoiled on this wonderful ending, it's just not worth it. Basically, TLDR, Attack on Titan's final episode is getting a lot of leaks right now, but do not fret if by any chance you do see some of these tweets, be sure to take action against them by reporting them. Do not like, retweet, share, or post any screenshots or anything else. Report and block the users who are doing this. Sadly, some of these people are Attack on Titan content creators, and as a creator with a somewhat decent following in the same niche, my statement on this is that I think this is highly disappointing that there are some people who hate Attack on Titan so much and seek so much attention that they would try to go to the links to terrorize the staff at MAPPA further or try to ruin it for everyone. I do not condone those content creators who do this as I think it's highly disrespectful especially considering I have a lot of love and respect for everyone and anyone who has ever in the history of Attack on Titan worked on it in any capacity. This series is literally what got me here today and allowed you people watching to even notice who I am. So to me, if I were to do this, it would be a spit in the face to those hardworking men and women and to Isayama and his staff. This is not the way to go about doing this. If you see people doing this kind of stuff, don't stand up for it. Call them out, even if it is me, which I hope it isn't. So I hope this video helped you stay clear of some spoilers and gave you some insight on what is happening right now. Also, thank you everyone for yesterday's video, which in a little over 24 hours has 40k views. That's insane, you guys. So thank you to everyone who liked the video, who watched the video, and for the 100 people who subbed and the 40,000 people who watched me. Please, everyone, enjoy the final episode of Attack on Titan, and I hope that you all who subscribed enjoy the content. Let's keep it positive and fight against the doomers one step at a time. Financially support the channel by becoming a patron where you'll gain access to my mega one piece arc reviews and first impressions thank you for watching bye bye